everyone, and let's check out another beautiful chess game by Harry Nelson Pillsbury. And in this chess game, Pillsbury has the white pieces, and his opponent is Georg Marco. And this game was played in Paris in 1900. And let's check out how this game went on. Harry Nelson Pillsbury, who has the white pieces, starts the game with playing d4, d5, c4, the queen's gambit, queen's gambit declined, e6, knight to c3, knight to f6, bishop to g5, pinning the knight, bishop to e7, unpinning, and preparing to castle, e3, and black castled, knight to f3, b6, bishop to d3, bishop to b7, c takes on d5, e takes on d5, knight to e5, knight from b to d7, and solidifying f4 by Filsbury, c5, and black wants to break the pawn chain of Filsbury, Filsbury also castled, and advancing with the pawn, Defending the bishop, a6, queen to f3, b5, by Georg Marco, queen to h3, by Filsbury, g6, well, blocking the diagonal for the light square bishop, but weakening in the dark squares, f5 by Filsbury, Filsbury wants to create weakness in the king side of black, and he also wants to open the f-file, and black didn't capture the pawn, of course. Capturing the pawn would be a terrible move. Instead, black played b4, attacking the knight. Where is the knight going? What would you do in this position? Well, Filsbury captured the pawn. F takes on g6 and sacrificing the knight. But Georg Marco captured back. If capturing the knight, then rook takes on f6. That was the plan of Pillsbury. And black can't capture back with the bishop. Because now, white is threatening checkmate. Queen takes on h7. Let's say knight takes on f6. But then, bishop takes knight. And again, white is threatening checkmate. If capturing back, then in this position, black is getting checkmated in one move. And what would happen? Well, of course, you can't also capture back with the h pawn because then queen to h8, checkmate. Let's capture back with the f pawn. And now, this was the plan of Pillsbury. Queen to e6, check. The only defense. And queen takes rook, checkmate. As you can see, there is no defense. So after f takes on g6, black captured back, not accepting the knight sacrifice, because then black is in trouble. And now it looks like black is threatening to capture the knight. Maybe this time white needs to defend the knight, but Pillsbury played queen to h4 and leaving the knight. Well, Georg Marco could not resist anymore. And he wanted to capture the delicious knight. He captured the knight. B takes on c3. And it is white to move. What would you do? Well, Pillsbury captured the knight. And white is a piece down. Queen takes on d7. And again, it is white to move. And Pillsbury captured the knight. Rook takes on f6, sacrificing the exchange. Of course, black didn't capture the rook, and he played a5. If capturing the rook with the bishop, then how to defend? Queen to h8. Check. Mate. There is no defense. Queen to h8. Black is getting checkmated. As you can see, there is no defense. So this is why Filsbury captured the knight. Rook takes on f6. What a move. A5, doubling the rooks, rook to A6, and in this position, Georg Marco wants to exchange the rooks. He wants to remove the pieces from the chessboard, but Pillsbury is not interested to exchange the rooks. He sacrificed his bishop instead, 
Bishop takes on g6 by Hillsbury. What a move. Sacrificing the bishop. Well, in this position, Hillsbury is threatening checkmate. So black has to capture the bishop. And after capturing the bishop, Pillsbury captured the rook. Rook takes on f8. Check. Bishop takes on f8. And it looks like this is too much sacrifice for white. What now? Pillsbury sacrificed the exchange. Rook takes on f8. Capturing the bishop with the rook. Isn't this too much sacrifice? It looks like white is running out of peace. And king takes on f8 is the only move. And Pillsbury played queen to h8, check, king to f7. And Pillsbury played queen to h7, check. As you can see, Pillsbury only has his bishop, but he also has the attack. Marco has too many pieces, but he's on the defensive side. He's trying to defend his king. That's check, also attacking the queen. But Marco played king to f8, and then losing the queen. If trying to defend the queen, then queen takes on g6. Where is the king going? Nowhere. Check. Mate. And let's say king to e8. Is it defending the queen? Is this defending the queen? No. This is not defending the queen. Because of queen to g8. Check mate actually that was defending the queen but not the king so this is why after queen to h7 marco desperately played king to f8 and then Pillsbury captured the queen queen takes on d7 and how to defend bishop to h6 check and then getting checkmated can you see a reasonable defense in this position, there is no defense. This is why Marco played the best move and he resigned. Resigning was the best move in this position. What a beautiful chess game by Harry Nelson Pillsbury. To be honest with you, this was one of the most beautiful chess games I have ever seen. And let me show you the possible continuation. Actually, there is no defense. So let's say c takes on b2, then bishop to h6, check, and then queen to g7, check, mate. There is no defense. Let's say king to g8, then bishop to h6, and black is getting checkmated again. Once again, what a beautiful chess game by Pillsbury. So this is why after Pillsbury captured the queen, Queen takes on d7, Georg Marco resigned, and thank you for watching, and I hope to see you next time, take care, and bye bye.